but one of the assignments of the spirit of poverty please listen to me is to make you run into debt one of the major strategies of crippling your finances is to make you get into debt now i know from an economic standpoint there is good debt there's bad debt they say there is good debt that can be used as a leverage you know and bad debt for fueling consumption i'm not downplaying your knowledge that is important according to your faith but let me tell you the most superior ways to not be in debt for the bible says oh no man nothing but love it is a possibility according to your faith you believe in that no problem the wisdom to manage whatever you receive now i'm speaking largely personally i know that corporately many times people would need help from institutions to execute large projects that is corporate i'm talking about there is no reason why you should get into debt personally it's a terrible thing because let me tell you what happens this spirit constrains you and then it forces you to start borrowing money until it becomes an addiction and every time you borrow money it will schedule activities to make sure that money was never used for the reason why it was borrowed so interest begins to pile up while there is no achievement that should bring you that profit there are many churches today that are in debt there are many supposed wealthy people today that are in debt there are many you are not free if you are in debt because it sustains the ability to stop you from sleeping the moment you have abundance plus time plus peace you are truly wealthy these three things must happen for wealth to be established if the only thing you have is abundance of financial resources even if you have systems the goal of these systems is to allow you the time and then peace resources time peace that is kingdom wealth that is true financial dominion that tripartite coexistence of wealth time and peace because these are the three most expensive commodities if you lose time and peace whatever else you got by losing them was a bad bargain are we together praise the name of the lord so the spirit of poverty has made many of us, some of us right now probably are in debt of thousands, millions, billions, and you want to get into more. No. Every time people got into debt from scripture, it was the prophetic that brought them out. The prophetic is mandated with the responsibility of rescue, particularly from financial debt. Alas, master, it was borrowed. It was prophecy that brought it out. The woman who was owing you know the prophet who died and left his wife in debt the prophet said go and borrow vessels not oil to borrow means to plead from people just bring it and the bible says he filled it and he said go and sell it and now give you know pay off your debt and leave off the rest the first thing the prophet told the woman to do when you are blessed is pay off your debt because you can't live in peace when you have debt that was the prophet's recommendation are we together so I want to pray for you if you are in any kind of financial situation of debt whether personally as a family or corporately in the name of Jesus please believe this prophecy between now and December 2023 I prophesy upon you come out of that debt come out of that financial situation come out of that financial situation in the name of Jesus Christ how will it happen apostle very simple the ministry of men it, there is no magic as to how people come out of debt it is always the ministry of men God will send men disguised as systems disguised as relationships it is yours to now discern and be ready when it comes you don't come out of debt by superstition when prophecy is released as it was over Samaria the next thing was men even if they are lepers they will be the ones to use to rescue Samaria every time prophecy comes start paying attention to men they will come with business ideas they will come with superior projects they will come with their well wishes just to bail you out a show of kindness or they will come somebody can just bless you 
Oh, apostle, I'm owing 30 million. And God gives someone an instruction. I will not give you money, but I give you one of my properties as a gift. You value that property and they say it's 80 million. You are out of debt already. It's up to you now. Let me tell you one of the major ways that God brings people out of debt is through the power of land and its resources. Because it is very difficult for somebody to come and give you one million, but he can give you a slice of the earth. And the Bible says, out of the earth comes increase. It says the increase of the earth is for all. It never said the increase of a company. So if everywhere runs to you, go to the earth for your portion. The earth has a portion for all men. This is a strategy. I'm not, I'm not foolish as you hear me talk to you. The earth is a universal bailout system that God uses to bring men out of financial troubles. The increase of the earth is for all, it says. That means if they reject you, if you are in debt, there's no guarantee that the increase in the bank, you have a share there. But this earth is a universal standpoint. The moment you are in debt, trust God to use the power of the earth and its fullness as a mystery to bail you out hmm. now in the name of jesus christ father let the power to prosper the engracing that can rest on men and women and program them for extraordinary success i declare by the privilege of this apostolic and prophetic mantle receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now be delivered from every financial captivity hear me what your father could not do what your mother could not do for some of you what has never been done before you i empower you by this anointing go and do it extraordinary results in business extraordinary results in ministry in the name of jesus christ Listen, many of you will come and stand here and begin to testify of strange financial doors in the name of Jesus Christ. And by this anointing, everybody mandated to help you, especially in this month, in this month of April, leave May, leave June, we're talking April. I don't know where they are, but I can call them by prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one who gave power to men, I declare this week that is coming, I stand by this mantle. I call for strange helpers, strange helpers, strange lifters. In the name of Jesus Christ. That by reason of this that you have heard, some of you by god you will step into prepared blessings you will be sitting down someone will call you and give you a car call you and give you a house i'm telling you call you and give you a job he has trained you so his hands will not be restrained in blessing you there are some of you who are in ministry god will give people instructions and say they should come and hold your hands and see to it that you never go down again every family struggling financially whether to pay school fees to pay rent to complete building projects or maybe to fund projects that are ongoing in the name of jesus this week may ebenezer the helper of men may he arise and surprise you For in Jesus' mighty name.